Somerset, Colorado in front of a pile of coal because we're celebrating the grand opening of the first mid-scale coal mine methane to energy project in the United States. That's basic technology. It's a truck engine that runs on methane instead of diesel. And so we run this vented methane. The mine vents methane to protect miners because it's toxic. And instead of wasting it, we run it into this truck engine and make electricity. This is a great step forward, and this project demonstrates what we can do when we come together and we can solve not only our energy problems, but also our climate problems, and bring different interests and make sure we're looking at a Colorado solution. I never imagined in my wildest dreams that I'd be standing here at a coal mine talking about the most exciting, innovative, optimistic, coolest project um, I've ever been associated with. But a project like this makes me really proud to be an American, to be a Coloradan. There's about a million dollars a month more methane that's not being used by this project that could be used by future generation. And I hope that this is just the beginning. And it's a project that protects the environment, creates jobs, and it's a collaboration among all kinds of different entities. The environmentalists, the coal miners, a ski resort, a utility. It's just a remarkable thing, and we turned it on today. This is 100% of our power, three times our carbon footprint. So, and there's a lot more for the taking here. Because then it doesn't matter what you believe in. It doesn't matter if you're left, right, middle, we believe in global warming, don't believe in global warming. If it's good business, it's good business. So what was once a byproduct of the mining to keep ventilation and air currents safe for the people to work in has now become a resource. But what this means for the ski industry, it's a statement of what's possible. And uh, you can put solar panels up, you can do a little here and there, but can you make utility scale power a huge amount of clean energy? And can you replicate it? And can you take responsibility for the pollution you create as a business? The amazing thing is everybody wins, but the biggest winner is the environment.